Hey guys, I'm about to show you another rainbow loom tutorial. I wish I could just edit a rainbow into the screen there. Anyway, today I'm showing you how to do this ladder bracelet. Compared to the others I've done, this is more of an intermediate bracelet, but I still think that it's really stinking easy. So you guys should be able to get it no problem, especially if you're rainbow loom pros. Before we get into the video, if you like rainbow loom videos, then please click the thumbs up button to show me that you like this video. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you like my videos and want to see more because it will let you know every time I put up a new video. I do rainbow loom videos sometimes but I also do other crafts so keep that in mind if you click subscribe that you will not just see rainbow loom but you will see them every once in a while. Now without further ado let's loom it up. Here's my lovely ladder. In order to make your own you'll need a loom, a hook, and some bands of course. Make sure that your middle peg is lower than the two side pegs and that the arrow is facing away from you. Grab one band, put it on the middle peg and the left peg. Push it down a little, grab another band that's the same color and put that on the middle peg then the right peg. Now I'm taking a yellow band, putting that on the left peg and moving it up to the second left peg. Another yellow band and doing the same thing on the right side of the loom. A pink band and putting it on the left. Another pink band putting it on the right. As you can see I'm just moving up the loom with my bands. I'm alternating colors every time and you're just gonna keep repeating that same step all the way up the loom. Keep going with your pattern. I'm doing pink yellow, pink yellow and I'm going from left to right, left to right. When you get to the last pegs where I have the yellow bands, you're going to put the pink band from the left to the middle and then your right pink band to the middle, like so. Here's what the entire thing looks like. I like to push all of my bands down at this time because we're going to be placing more bands on top of these for the next steps. At this point, you're putting bands across the loom. So I'm taking a yellow band and putting it on the second left peg and then moving that across, straight across to the right. You can see what I'm doing very easily on camera. Now I'm taking a pink one and putting that across from left to right. Here's a close up, a yellow from left to right and pink from left to right and you're just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over. Remember when I speed up my footage that doesn't mean that you have to keep up with me. Just keep that in mind. I'm just speeding it up because I'm doing the same steps over and over and it's just there's no reason for me to show it in real time when you can click pause. Now I'm at that last pink band. I put it from left to right and this is what the loom should look like right now. Yay, pink lemonade. <laughs> That's totally what I'm calling this. The pink lemonade ladder. Going back to that middle peg, we're putting a black from the first peg to the second peg in the middle. Grabbing another black band, putting it from the second to third peg in the middle. And I bet you can guess what comes next. Third to fourth, then fourth to fifth. And again, I'm going to be speeding up my footage. Don't freak out. You just do the same step over and over, putting black from peg to peg in the middle until you get to the last little peg there. Take another black band to form a capping band. So just make a figure eight with it and then fold it over. Basically you just want it looped around your peg two times instead of one and you're just putting it on that last peg. Now I'm spinning the loom around. We're going to be working from the end that we just capped. So the arrows should be pointing in the opposite direction now, so instead of them facing away from you, they should be facing toward you. Take your hook and pull back both layers of the capping band. So it will look like you're pulling back two bands, but you're just pulling back one capping band, going underneath that and grabbing the black band. So it should be the black band that is on the next peg. You're taking that off, pulling it over and putting it on that second middle peg there. Grab that next rubber band, place it on the next peg. Again, hook down, pull out that black band, place it on the next peg. And again, we're just going to repeat this down the entire center of the loom. So we're speeding up the footage again because I'm just doing the same step over and over. Have fun. 
Do this step all the way down until you place that last black band onto the last peg or the top peg. Now we're going back in and where you place the rubber bands across the loom, we're going to repeat that with another band of the same color. So I'm taking the pink and placing it across. It doesn't matter which peg you start on, you just want it to be across in the same exact spot as your other ones are. So I'm taking a yellow one, putting that across, pink, then yellow, pink, then yellow. You're just following your own pattern and we're speeding this up too because I'm just doing the same thing all the way across until I get to the end. Yeah. Again, we're going in where our capping band is, where that black cap band is, and I'm going to start on the left side, so my arrows are facing me, and I'm going to grab that pink band, pull it off the first peg, and onto the left peg, like so. Then I'm reaching down, and I'm going to do the same thing with that right pink band, pull it over to the other peg there. Now I'm going up the entire left side, so I'm pulling out the yellow band and putting it on the next peg. You want to reach your hook down into all the rubber bands to pull out the bottom one and place it on the next peg. So I'm just giving you another view, another angle of me doing this in a second. And basically, yeah, I'm just doing this down the entire left side of the loom like I've already said. It's just super easy and it's the same steps. So once I get to my last pink band, I'm putting it from the left side to that middle peg. Bam. Now do the same thing up the entire right side of the loom. So reach through the pink bands and pull the yellow to the next peg. Put your hook through all the bands, get the pink band out and pull it up to the next peg. And what do you think we're doing next? The same step up the entire right side of the loom. So keep doing it and then that last pink band will get pulled out from the right side and to the middle peg. Yeah. Take your hook and stick it through all of the bands on that last top peg. Then you're going to grab a band that's the same color as your middle band, so in my case it's black. I'm going to put it at the end of my hook and then I'm going to carefully pull it through all of the bands. Then I'm taking my hook and I am putting it through the other side of that black band that I just added. Make sure it's on that thicker part of your hook because now you're going to pull your bracelet off of the loom. Do anything you have to do to get them off, just be careful so you don't rip any of the bands. As long as you did everything right, it should stay in one piece like so. Now it's probably not long enough for you so we're going to add an extension. I took the band off of the hook Hold it tight because it's not secure yet. Take another black band and pinch it and then you're going to just take one end of it, place it through those two ends of the black band already in the bracelet. And once you have it all the way through, you're going to fold it in half. Just keep doing this until your extension is long enough for you. I think I'm putting five bands on each end, so I'm just taking a black band, pinching it, putting it through both loops in that black band and folding it over again to make two loops. Then I'm putting on a C-clip to secure it and I'm moving on to the other side where there's a black band and I'm going to pull that band out so it has two loops, pinch one of my other black bands, stick it through both loops and fold it over to form two new loops. Again, I'm going to have five bands total on this side to match the other side, and then I'm just going to take that end and attach that to the C-clip. Now I have a completed Rainbow Loom Ladder Bracelet. All right, so I have two of them here, the Pink Lemonade and the, name the blue and green one for me because I don't have a name for it. But if you end up making your own Rainbow Loom Ladder Bracelet, then use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me. I hope you guys like the ladder bracelet design. If you end up making your own, then be sure to use the hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me a picture, and if you do different colors, that would be awesome too, so I can see, and it's very noisy out, and I'm talking over noise, and I can't stand it. And check out all of my links in the down bar. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, if you like my videos, of course. 
and you guys have a great rest of the day be sure to check out all my other rainbow loom tutorials i do have a rainbow loom playlist of all my rainbow loom videos well i've said rainbow loom far too many times so i hope you guys have a great rest of the day and i'll see you soon bye that was a really long wave and it's weird what is all that noise oh my gosh mm, angry face i can't even look angry Really, leaf blower, now you stop after I've filmed two intros and you're back.